Hello and welcome. This is TMI Socials. An excellent morning to you. And it's always good to know that you are right there together with us. My name is Anuluapo Stevens. There are so many trendages that I would love to share with you this morning. So all you have to do is sit down, relax, and join me on the social media journey. We'll begin with an international story. So, the International Organization for Migration says more than 1,000 Nigerians are stranded in the UK after being victims of fake job schemes. Now, addressing a press conference on Monday, Laurette de Boyk, that's the AOM's chief of mission to Nigeria, said the victims of these scams have lost close to $10,000 each adding that many of them have not returned home because of shame. Now the term Jakpa, or Jakpa, however you say it, as it is called, is a local term descri that describes a scenario that has seen many Nigerians migrate to other parts of the world for a better life. However, many of them have been defrauded or have passed on due to the dangers associated with illegal migration. Now, the chairman went ahead to say that the number of migrants from Edo to Europe has declined owing to the state's counter-trafficking measures. He also added that in this year, 2023, 260,000 Nigerians have sought his organization for help to help them return back to the country, adding that many of them are not settled in the UK. Now, just yesterday, I was scrolling through my phone, and then the next thing I saw was my friend already in the UK. I don't know what's with Nigerians and the UK, though, but let's see how you reacted to this story on social media. Instagram, Media Cloud NG says, after we were casted to the UK authorities by a Yoruba known as MD Tayumu, truly the Yoruba people are the problem of Nigeria. Really, do we have to bring the tribal stuff to this? Anyway, moving on, it is Mr. DNR says, Nigerians too love UK Shao, but other countries choco, the likes of Denmark, Germany, Italy, Finland, Bahamas, Norway, Switzerland, France, ETC. Can't be like saying Nigeria won't go colonize our colonizers. <laughs> How is that even possible? Do we have another reaction? Okay, finally, Pinky Fuliv says, so why can't the embassy scrutinize and check for fake employment letters? Why grant them visas when the letters are fake? At least they can still hold the agents if the embassy denies. I totally agree with you. So many questions there to be answered. Now, finally, just lovers, class captain says, if them give you fake job, as long as you don't enter and your visa is valid, or Benny, look for another job, or go to the warehouse. Tell me about it. CC Money says, how is the visa granted when the employment is fake? Plenty of questions there to be answered, I tell you. But anyway, let's move over to another story here in Nigeria. Update as regards the WK political saga. Just so many things have been happening in River State. But just to let you know that the National Working Committee of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, just yesterday vowed to take disciplinary measures against the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Yesum Wike, and other members of the PDP who had worked against the party at the appropriate time, he said. Now, the PDP National Chairman, Uma Damagum, stated this at a news conference in Abuja. The PDP and WC also deferred with President Bola Tinubu's position on the ongoing political phase of in River State, insisting that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, must conduct elections to fill the seats of the 27 lawmakers who defected from the PDP to the All Progressive Congress, APC. There's so many things that have been happening lately, just as I said. And I remember yesterday precisely 
Governor Sim Fubara said he wants peace to thrive, so you know what, I'm going to adhere to everything that has been said, and there has been reactions to it. But let's see how you reacted to this particular story. On Facebook, Gaddafi Wonder says, Funny party, when is the appropriate time? Is Wiki bigger than the party? Talking too much without action. Mm -hmm. Chinedu Steve, still on Facebook, says, When is this appropriate time coming? We have been hearing this since this year. Can we move over to another response? All right. Adamu Halilu says, Which appropriate time are you waiting, waiting for, storytellers? when you have to wait for Tinubu and APC to resolve your own crisis in River State. Ode Emmanuel, you people have to wake up and stand by those PDP governors who are facing challenge in their state after they have won election police. End of story. All right, so we're still on the trending stories that found its way on social media. Let's move over to another interesting one I have here for you this morning. So interestingly, the Minister of Women Affairs, Uju Kennedy, says Nigerian women should not be made to pay taxes. Now speaking at the fourth annual forum of the Women, Peace and Security Sector Reference Group 2023 in Abuja, the minister emphasized the importance of empowering women to enhance their daily pursuits. Women must be empowered, she says. Without women, there wouldn't be peace. When you empower a woman, you have empowered 20 other women, she said. The minister also employed agencies not to disrupt women's activities, adding that no woman should be allowed to pay any tax fee at all. She can now. Now, do you agree? Now, one would have thought that other women would support this motion being raised by the Minister of Women's Affairs. But tell you what, it was a totally different ball game on social media. Let's take a look. All right. The Abdul Raham says, so about 50% of Nigeria's population shouldn't pay tax, including the richest woman in Africa, Alakija and the other billionaires who run multi-billion Naira businesses, this woman should be sacked for such nonsense talk. BAT, that's President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, will just be disgusted hearing this. The world is talking about gender equality and balance, and this one is talking about gender inequality. Men will pay most of the bills, take care of their families, and still indirectly pay double tax. Because if women don't pay, someone else must pay for it. Before my beautiful queens and princess come for me with venom, please make me a new vexu. And then he had the laughing out loud sign there. Let's move over real quickly. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Chun Li says, especially security tax, because there is basically no law protecting women that's effective. Now, this particular user is supporting what the Minister of Women's Affairs says. Prudence, still on Instagram, says, this is the funniest thing I have ever heard. Is it only men that work? Where is the equality we all crave for? Now, please do not ask me what I think about this stuff because I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you actually like my response to it. Anyway, moving on. Dino Milai, always on social media, the controversial guy. This time around, why is he trending? Or why was he trending? Now, he posted a picture that went viral. Uh, apparently, he's now in Dubai for his vacation. And he said something. He said, why you should have a good investment and second address. Now let's see the picture of him seated, seated there with all of the stuff being displayed. Now this particular picture showed, showed interesting. Yes, that's the picture there. He says, look at him all seated with his legs crossed, looking like a bag of money. <laughs> you know that he is. He says, there is nothing like good investment and having a second address. My mood will not be able to change your mood. Think big and act big. End of story. Let's see how you reacted. Females. Alrighty. Nii says, 
I just don't know how we allow these kind of people to rule us, flashing their wealth in our faces. Omo, I tell you, but what to do now? Moving on, moving on real quickly. Are there other reactions we have? Uh, so I remember someone else also did say that, okay, now there it is. Linger by Temi says, not be the masses money you carry. Go the second address where you own. Cecilia Remy says, even politicians self, they try they t okay, even politicians say they tire for the country. The only thing they are enjoying is the money they embezzle. Don't let anyone deceive you. Jackpot, if you can. All right, it's, that's all. Okay, that's all for that story. And finally, okay, finally, I got to tell you about the um, story of Celine Dion. Apparently, her health is, you know, completely bad and everything. Just yesterday, her sister came out to say, you know what? Um, she's still battling with the stiff person syndrome and everything. So I am hoping and praying that things eventually get better for her because I would really love to see the 55-year-old pop star on stage again. Now, course of the time frame, we have to wrap up the conversation here today on TMI Socials. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you for joining me or in this particular episode of TMI Socials. My name is Anu Luwapur-Stevens. I'll see you tomorrow.